Hi y'all, welcome back. I'm Barbie Jean and today we're talking about how, how do you communicate what you like? How do you share to a partner or a lover something that you'd like to try in the bedroom? How do you make your sex life more pleasurable? You have to communicate, which is easier said than done. So I'm going to give you some of my advice that'll help you improve. I know communicating is very difficult. In my early 20s, I remember time and time again, I would have one night stands where men would just penetrate me before putting on a condom. There was just like a free for all and there was no communication prior. There was no communication during or consent given often and it just made me so uncomfortable afterwards or led to a lot of shame and guilt and regret and I'm trying to avoid that. We need to be better at communicating. Obviously, we're so worried about what people might think. We are worried about ruining the moment. We feel awkward. We don't wanna hurt their feelings. And so the first advice I wanna give to you today is to discuss prior talk about have those conversations about boundaries ahead of time you know whether it's on the way to the other person's house like maybe they ask you to come back to their place and then in that moment you say hey i only have sex with condoms do we need to pick some up on the way <laughs> please avoid getting chlamydia as many times as i did so <clears throat> excuse me i have a little cold just figure out ways to discuss it ahead of time, whether that's on the date or the third date, whether that's over coffee in the morning, if, if, if it's somebody that you are sleeping with regularly or live with. Maybe it's an activity like at the gym or when you're cooking together. You know, figure out a time where you feel comfortable opening up, saying like, I, I would really love to try this thing. I feel like I would love to explore this kink that I have. You know, maybe say I had this really sexy dream. Would you be open to giving this a try? You know, it's just really important to have those conversations prior to the sex itself or just just ahead of time in general. It's also really good to Open up about how vulnerable you feel sharing this intimacy. It's really special to be aware of how you're feeling. And so if you can look at your lover, look at your partner, look at this person that you're just wanna fuck and say, hey, I'm, this is weighing on me a little bit, but I wanna open up to you about something I would love to try or I'm feeling really vulnerable right now but I really want to share with you something that I would love to do to make our sex better. You know, just letting them know where this intimate advice or critique or kink is coming from can help them absorb it better and it can come off just like in a little softer way if they're aware of how it feels on you. Then of course, you can always communicate during. Body language. I love using body language during sexual moments, like leaning into them when it feels really good, using moans and groans, saying yes. <laughs> like if your lover is doing something that feels really good, saying yes, yes, keep going, don't stop, yes. That feels amazing. Yes, <laughs> just like that. Like those small little words can really, really help your, your partner to recognize what feels good. 
Now, on the contrary, (laughs) we have to just be aware and be more intuitive people. I find that some are more intuitive than others, and I just want us all to be more intuitive. So if you're having sex with someone and they are leaning into you or pushing themselves towards you like that's a good sign (laughs) if they're moaning and groaning and doing saying those things that i said before like don't stop keep flicking your tongue in the exact way you're doing it like don't ruin that moment so i think it's just important for us to remember how we have to just be intuitive to each other and we have to recognize when our lovers are enjoying themselves and when they're disconnected and not feeling as good so if you're still struggling with how to frame this desire this kink this advice this critique just remember how fragile and vulnerable people are when it comes to sex when it comes to intimacy there's a lot of shame there so i find that this old school approach that i learned with you know giving criticisms with giving critiques is build a compliment sandwich (laughs) give that person something that you love about them first tell them what you really enjoyed then say what they could do better or the critique or what you want to try or what you feel like you guys could improve upon and then finish again with a positive compliment or something that you really enjoyed or something that they did to please you that is just a really powerful way to not hurt people's feelings it really works i i think personally from experience that's how i like to to receive critiques about my art about my about anything really i just feel like when you lead with a compliment and end with again something that felt good and sandwich in that not so good thing or maybe it's just some advice like some some of us just take that easier because it doesn't feel as personal and you recognize your reckon your partner is recognizing the good parts about you as well but also saying like hey i think we could do this better now another tip I would recommend is practicing practice 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 just talking ahead of time I find that it's so hard sometimes in the moment to say how we really feel especially when we're talking about vulnerable things like sex and intimacy so by practicing in the mirror practicing in the shower writing it out just framing your thoughts in a way that you will remember and be able to rehearse and say to perfection when you actually do open up to your lover or partner or whoever it is i just think it's really important to practice so that you avoid saying something that you didn't really mean or being uncomfortable in the situation and and you know stopping or not having the courage to say how you really feel or what you really came to this conversation wanting to share and explore so practicing is just please just do it i really feel like the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is practice (laughs) and then the final little tip i'm going to give you today is these quizzes that are so available to us online whether it's a sex personality quiz whether that's an intimacy quiz whether it's a BDSM kink quiz, just a relationship quiz. There's so many, and I'll be sure to link one or two below. But ultimately, this is just a really great talking point. Maybe you're on your third date and you'd like to know more about this person's sex kinks and their desires. Like, this is a great way to kind of explore that. Sex is such a big part of our relationships, it's a big part of my relationship. And so, it's really good to know what your partner wants and it's a really great way to grow a relationship in the beginning and figure out what you're interested in or even if you've been dating someone for so long and you feel like you're in a bit of a stale time or maybe you haven't been feeling as fulfilled look up one of these quizzes or click on the ones i've attached below and see if 
it shows you some new kinks and desires that you're interested in exploring. See if it just sparks this beautiful conversation between the two of you where you learn more about each other. So again, just to conclude, <laughs> communicating is really fucking hard. I know it is, but I think if you remember to have these conversations ahead of time, you're going to avoid the discomfort. If you remember to recognize these body language mannerisms and be intuitive to your body and use your body language and your voice during sex to show your lover what you're enjoying and how good it feels, then you will be communicating as well in a positive way. And then just don't forget to remember how fragile people are. So using that sandwich can be really beneficial. <laughs> and then practice, practice what you're gonna say, please. And then look at these quizzes. I think with any relationship, it can be really wonderful to learn new things about each other. And yeah, thanks again for being here. I hope this helps you guys. Love you so much, talk soon. Mwah.